Jacob Glassmeyer, your Tai Chi guy of Glassmeyer Health and Wellness. Uh, this is the winter day here in Florida. You can see the sun's just now coming out. Uh, but I want to take just a few moments and go over some kickboxing technique with you because I recently saw a video that they only describe a jab and a cross uh, punch as just an upper body motion. And it's not, it's not, it's a full body motion. So understanding the mechanics of how the body works is what I want to give to you because whether we're doing kickboxing or we're responding to an activity that you know, we're trying to catch ourselves from falling, we're trying to catch someone or something else from falling, kickboxing always has in its of itself a benefit to applicable uh, uses in our daily life. So let's go over the jab and cross, shall we? Keep our stance down slightly low. Knees are both slightly bent. Our back heel is up just a small amount. Elbows are tucked into our side, but relaxed. Our shoulders are heavy. Our head is not lifted tall. We use that movement in Tai Chi, but in kickboxing or in Taekwondo, we want to keep our chin and in boxing to keep our chin down just slightly. We're trying to make this target as small as possible. So when we are competing or heaven forbid we have to defend ourselves, we are a small target. And keeping our chin tucked down doesn't allow for any activity to be uh, strikes to go to the throat. So chin stays down, body stays in tight, but shoulders are relaxed, and that way we can come out straighter with a punch, with our jab, or with our cross, whether it's an uppercut or it's a hook, it doesn't matter. The ground powers from the ground up. We're drawing energy from the earth into our legs, into our pelvis, into our core, and then releasing the energy out through the punch. So let's go with the jab. The power always comes from the back. Whether we step out or not, regardless, we're extending the arm out. So it's not just an arm extension with a small bend in our elbow and a spiral through the punch. It's to drive from the ground to make the power to come out in order to make the punch to go fast. Subsequently, on the other side, bringing our hand back, it's still, now we're coming from the front leg to bring the body back. So all at one time, we bring it back. So now, for our cross punch, that's the power punch. That's the one that the boxers or the kickboxers actually save up for in order to knock their opponent out. That's gonna be their dominant side. the pelvis like to draw the our back hand and extend out. So we breathe in, exhale, come back. Our back heel needs to stay up just a small amount, not very much, but we rotate, extend, come back. So then we do our cross punch and it comes back it's a lot stronger than if we just work on the arm extending and a little bit of rotation through our core. We have to go from our ground up and come back. So when we put that combination all together, and we'll go from here, one, two, you can see that using the entire earth into the core, into the shoulders and release can be a lot faster than just using our arms. That's the jab and the cross from the way I see it, your Tai Chi guy. I look forward to seeing you here next time. And don't forget to subscribe.